What is happening guys? Welcome back to the garage once again. Right, I've got a bit of a fun mod today. Bit of a pointless mod, but a fun one. Um, somebody suggested to me that I should get a um, whistle to go on the exhaust. Um, not really a boy racer anymore, um, not my age anyway. However, I thought it'd be a bit of fun. So I've ordered it off eBay just for shits and giggles really. Because it was like six quid. Um, Basically, that's what it looks like. So I thought, before the rain sets in, yeah, that's what it looks like. It just slides into the back of the exhaust, does up with what looks like a 10mm bolt. Um, yeah, just a bit of fun, really. So uh, I'm going to get out this white T-shirt, get the van on the drive, and uh, have a go at fitting this. Back in a jiffy. Cardboard. Make life a little bit more comfortable. Now, do I get changed out of this white t-shirt or do I chance it? Hmm. Right, what have we got going on here then? There she is. And because of the tight curve on that exhaust, I don't know whether it's actually going to fit anyway. We'll give it a try anyway. So, a couple of 10 mils on the 7 mil. I think it goes in that way. I think. And then we've got a couple of bolts here to lock it into place and then a 7mm on top to stop it swiveling let's get to it right what do we say I think it goes in that way is that going to work? So this second one here, I can't figure out what that one might be for. That one doesn't go on there. What is that? That isn't gonna work. That didn't work. So I think I just do it that way. In fact, we'll take that one out. That's one side. We'll do this seven mil nut up to stop it spinning. Not too tight in case you strip the thread because it's only a small bolt. Now that'll do. So we'll move. The locking nut. Mm. 
Now, what I would normally do, guys, is I'm a big fan of the old copper slip or copper grease, whatever you want to call it. If you watch the channel, you'd know that. I'm a big fan because it helps keep threads clear of rust so it's easier to get off the next time you want to remove something. But I'm not going to put it on this straight away because I might drive down the road with this and it might just sound awful and get on my nerves and I might end up taking it from me. But if it does sound cool, fun, I might leave it on there. Then what I'll do is I'll take it off, I'll grease the threads and, uh, and put it back on. Just loosen off the locking nuts all the way. Give that another little nip. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right. Let's fire her up. Okay, so that's all finished. Um, and to be honest, uh, I'm quite disappointed with the outcome. Um, I mean, I only paid six quid, but and it was for shits and giggles. But um, I was hoping there was going to be a little bit of a whistle there. Um, I don't know, maybe it will be different when I take it out on a bit of a run in a minute. Um, actually, I don't know if I've fitted it the right way around. So that's something else I might play with. If any of you guys have fitted one, I know any different. Stick it in the comments below and uh, help set me on the right path. Um, yeah, so the only thing left to do really is take it on a good run and see if I can hear it. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you liked the video. Like I said, this is just a quick one for a bit of fun. Um, if you've not been here before, please consider subscribing, like, share the video and all that jazz. And uh, hopefully I'll um, see you soon. Bye for now. It's at this point I realised I must have fitted it the wrong way. What an idiot. This video confirms it. <laughs>